Hi everybody, it's David here again. And to continue my series, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to manually instrument iOS applications with OpenTelemetry. So first of all, we're going to start off in Elastic. Uh, you can see here that what we're trying to do is monitor applications using APM. We're going to go in here and we're going to click on OpenTelemetry and we're going to use these configurations in our iOS application. So now we've got these, we can switch over to Xcode. So over here in Xcode, I've got a very simple app. I actually started this with the, the default wizard. And I just added a few lines here to in instantiate the open telemetry libraries. So we've got here an endpoint. In this uh, example, it's very important to add the V1 traces at the end of here. I think the iOS SDK doesn't quite yet add uh, the end part URL automatically. So we, we have to do the full part of the URL, which is, a, which is a little bit different from what we've had to do with other SDKs. So this is really important. Make sure you use uh, V1 traces at the end of the URL. This is a little bit different from what Elastic tells you to do. We've also got the authorization token in here. We said service name, version, deployment environment, uh, telemetry SDK, name, language, and version. These are all very important. Now our app here is very, very simple. All it does is it uh, has a bunch of sentences and it refreshes those sentences on a, on a counter. We've got a generate text function that we're, we've got a span surrounding that function. So we're trying to time how long it takes for uh, sentences to get generated and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute when I run the app but it will basically randomly select the sentence here display it on the, the iPhone screen uh, every couple of seconds and so we get quite a lot of traces out of this because every couple of seconds we get a new trace now we're also getting word count so we're counting the number of words in the sentence and we're putting that in an attribute here so we can do some interesting things with the uh, with the word count so that's our app, very, very simple. Uh, we, this trace manager, we do actually need to instantiate that as well in the uh, initialization code in the main, uh, the main uh, part of the program here. So uh, those are the main two things we need to do. Now also, one thing that's very, very important is we have to add uh, the open telemetry packages, right? And it's very, very important that you don't add any more packages than this. If you, one thing I found is just that I added the too many packages or I added the wrong packages, my build would fail really easily and I'd have all sorts of problems with dependencies. So make sure these are the only uh, packages you add, or libraries you add. Uh, in order to add the open telemetry package, what you do is you go to file here, you click add packages. And, uh, you know, because I recently used it, you've got open telemetry swift here, but you can also just paste in the GitHub repository into here. This is a feature I really like about iOS development. I think this is pretty nice. So we add our packages, we add our libraries from those packages. We've made sure that those libraries are just these ones and no more. Uh, we've added some initialization code here, making sure to add this, this V1 traces. And you should find the link to the GitHub repository for this in the comments if you wanna, if you wanna have a look at this. And then, uh, and then we've got a nice little example app here that uh, you can take and have a look at. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to um, Elastic again and just get some of these these uh, key details. I need the, the URL here for Elastic, and I need the bearer token. So let's pop the URL into here. Just paste that in there. Uh, we don't actually need the uh, 443 at the end there, so that's good. Looks good. Now we just need a bearer token as well, the, the ID. Now, for anybody who thinks they're being clever, uh, I do not keep these instances up and running past my videos. I delete them straight away. So uh, these tokens will not work after today. Uh, so you, you won't be able to get into my instance. So don't even try. <laughs> right, so we've got this all configured nicely now. Uh, so it's time to, to try this out. So let's go up here, product and, and run. Uh, we'll replace the current uh, instance that we did have running. Uh, let's see. 
if it comes up it's just waiting to attach oh there we go we've got some spans coming through here on our iOS app it's not going to be displaying particularly nicely so let's try it again with that yep. let's try and pull that up there we go the app's running there we go so every couple of seconds we get a new message come up and you can see in here that we've got some logging that uh, tells us when a span starts and ends and gives us a word count so now we head over to Elastic and with any luck, you should see in the observability overview page and uh, in the services, you should see our app appear. Let's take a little bit of time to load. There it is! Lovely! Brilliant! So we've got some stuff in here. We can actually see our transactions and our spans have started to generate. We can see that's got that word count coming through, which is really nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at dashboarding and we'll create a new dashboard. And in here we can actually, you know, create a new visualization. You can go and find that uh, word count uh, label in here. There we go, numeric label. And we can actually create a dashboard with our, uh, with like how the word count is changing over time. One of the cool things is we can even take this data and use it in machine learning. Right? So we can actually see if there are any anomalies. So, you know, this could be useful if you've got like a shopping cart and you're trying to figure out whether the amount of revenue you're making over time is changing. Maybe there's an anomaly. Suddenly your revenue drops to zero. Could be a problem because of your app, right? And you'd want to know about that very, very quickly. And so now we're dashboarding that, that word count over time. And like I said, we could go in here, we could do a bit of machine learning on that if we wanted to get some business data flowing. So yeah, there you go. So that's how you get OpenTelemetry up and running in iOS. Take, take a look at the GitHub link below if you want to actually have a look at this GitHub repository to see this example. And also scan the QR codes, right, to get started with Elastic. Uh, I'll just uh, pause there so you've got a chance to do that. Thanks very much, everybody.